Hey, you guys. What's up, her? No time to hear from YouTube. I know. Where my black ass been? So let me tell you, okay? It's been a long journey, but it's been a great journey. <laughs> um, no, I've actually been working hard, you know. I've been life been life in. You got to pay the bills, you know, now that... I'm the head of the household. I got to make sure it runs the way it needs to run. The God who strengthened me, right? Right. But that's pretty much where I've been. What's up with y'all? How y'all been on this great Wednesday night? Yeah, it's late. Me and Tristan just got through coming in. I was listening to my intuition. It was saying, put the work up, go home. Tristan threw up everywhere, and I met a good friend in the mix, okay? The strangest... <sighs> I had to take a deep breath. You meet your tribe in the strangest places. I pray to God, and, I, and you know, whoever you pray to, universe, God, all the same thing, I, you know. Um, no uh, religion, unaccepted. You know, somebody have to have a higher power. I believe in if you stand for something, you wouldn't fall for anything, okay? So, yeah, you meet the strangest people in your community, you know, um, in the weirdest way. I met her picking her up. She was drunk. And shout out to Jamie. Her name's Jamie. She's good people. I prayed for a friend. I have a good friend. We've been friends for over 15 years, but I prayed for a friend that had kids. Uh, nothing like having a friend that's relatable. You know, y'all have a common ground. Children at home. Um, young children, not grown children, because my grown children will not be at my house. I'm sorry to say that's opinionated. Nothing to people that have grown children at home, just minds would they can't be okay. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, young kids like myself, someone that's either been married, divorced like myself, or married like myself, and the universe send you know, God send me one. And I met her under distress. I mean, I could tell all over her face she was under distress. She looked it like me. So she began to tell me, I, I began to take her home. She began to tell me what she was distressed over. Meanwhile, Tristan threw up all over the car. And she began to cater to Tristan like as if it was me. And that's what brought me to her. You know, a lot of people, you have kids, but they, they don't have kids at home. You don't feel the love and adherence. She said her kids just got home from summer vacation. So, you know, um, she draws down to Tristan immediately. And the key to my heart is my baby. I don't care. You can do whatever you want or say whatever you want and buy whatever you want from me. But if you love my baby, you got me. Okay? So she had me immediately. I mean, just like that. You know what I'm saying? And I want to give her shout out and thanks. There are kind-hearted people out there, you know. To where sometimes I kind of wonder, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was going through a pity party, actually, for like a week or so. Um, my family, my daughter kept texting me. I just wasn't in the mood for her, you know. Some people in your family, you just got to be in that mood. And when you're not in that mood, you're just not in that mood. And I just wasn't in that mood for her. I didn't care what it was. If she wasn't saying she was dying, I cared less what it was about. That's the grown things, you know, that grown people do grown things, you figured it out, right? Right. So, I was just like in that funk, trying to do the inter-child, um, inter of me, and I love being around my child because he, he brings out the inner child, the playfulness in me, and even though I have to be a woman of authority, I still able to bring out that inner child in me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Tristan was singing a song, you know, um, by Scissor. If I can lose, how can I snooze and miss a moment? Nobody, nobody like you who do. You know that song? I, if I can snooze, something like that. So, I begin to think back. When have I snoozed on the right person? I can name five, y'all. Yeah, literally five people, five men, women too, you know, this is for y'all men too. When have you ever snoozed and missed a moment? You know what I'm saying? And you lost. <laughs> I can name five people. One person I met on the Greyhound bus coming from New York, 
and I met him in Delaware. Another one, I went to church with him growing up. Another one, I, he was my ex-husband's best friend, and I chose wrong. Another one, yeah, that was some weird crap, but I chose wrong, though. I chose, I chose to marry the wrong guy, and I knew that, you know, and he knocked on my door, and I knew that, like, ugh. And then, um, another one recently, okay, and another one, it was another one. You know, but mainly what I'm trying to say is I'm tired of snoozing and missing the moment. You know what I'm saying? You know, we always want what everybody else wants, but we want it in a bad boy sense. You know, I, I'm really tired of the bad boy. You know, everybody had, well, at least, no, let me take that back. Somebody, Some people don't have a type. Some people are really insecure and desperate and codependent. Now that I've gotten that out of my system, I think I did that when I was like about 20, but no disrespect for the ones that are, because you really got to work on that. You really got to heal, and in order for you to heal that that part of the codependency, maybe it, it came from like childhood, or maybe it came from an ex-lover, or maybe it came from something, you know, my abandonment shit started with my mother, and it went down spiral from there, you know what I'm saying? So maybe, you know, no disrespect, because I've been codependent in my life before as well, you know, recently, you know what I'm saying? Within the last three years, feel like that. But those are devilish karmic habits that we have to actually work on within ourselves. And I believe the universe and God or whoever you celebrate, so, I mean, sell it and, you know, pray to and, 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 and settle yourself for and your higher power, feel like that sets us aside to look at things in that nature, you know what I'm saying, so I'm in the car, and I'm thinking to myself about these five guys, what would I have been if I would have chosen, I don't think I would have, I really honestly don't think I would have went through as much as I went through, you know what I'm saying, and one of the guys started early, like I said, the best friend, yeah, he started early, you know what I'm saying, and it's not like I was cheating on him with my kid's father, no, I met them both at the same time in the same place, and they knew it, you know, um, at the same time, in the same space, and it was like I had to make a choice, like, right then, you know, and I dated both, and they knew about it, you know what I'm saying, and I had a choice, and I made the wrong choice, you know, due to, honestly, sex, I ain't gonna lie, sex, one fuck better than the other, and I made the wrong choice, so, now that we got that out of the way, you know what I'm saying? I had to work on that, that codependency, that lustfulness of me. You know, I feel now I look at things different. Even though the sex might be bad, it's up to you to make it good. It's up to you to spice up your relationship. So if you're with somebody and it ain't all that, spice up the relationship. You know, just don't settle for somebody to always know what they're doing because, believe it or not, come to find out the reason why they know what they're doing because they've done it so many times and they might be doing it with three more other people besides you hmm. practice make perfect even in a negative way okay so you got to think about it like that you know what i'm saying and that's what was happening he was a bona fide cheater <laughs> period he practiced with everybody you know what i'm saying so of course he had that skill down right you know but you know you have to have a type and I had a type. Now my type is anybody that's going to treat me good, love me good, and be there for me, and not be codependent, and not latch on, and not be clingy, and have a spiritual belief, and love me and my kids the way I love me and my kids, okay? In order to do that, you have to have that self-love, and that's what made me change my vision on what my type was. I've always had a type, you know? But now my type has changed my type ain't my type because my type the bad boy sexy cute rabbitly um good and best slap it up flip it rub it down those motherfuckers have given me h-e-l hell okay so that is no longer my type i had to change my type i look at things different it's not about the money it's not about what they look like it's not about that it's never really honestly been what they look like because I can truly say until I cleaned them off, 
they wasn't all that in the beginning. So that should have been a warning right there. That's a red flag. If you got to clean a man off or you got to clean a woman up, that might not be where you belong, you know. Um, that's a control issue that you have within yourself and that's changing a person, you know what I'm saying? And you change them so far to where they forget who they are and they wind up taking that and running with it, you know what I'm saying? And that's happened to me as well. So I give my energy into me from this point on. And that's a good advice, though, to give your energy into you, you know. And don't lose and miss the moment. Yeah, he might not be your type at first. Or he might be your type and he might be lousy in bed and don't have a big swing, you know what I'm saying. Or he don't have, um, now I ain't gonna, no, no, don't get me wrong, okay. He can't be oogly, okay. I, hey, it is what it is. He can't be oogly, but, you know, we ain't gonna be so, you know what I'm saying, so desperate about who we go with and who we be with because we might snooze and lose and i pulled the first card blinded what did i tell you spirits on time two swords two swords stands for being blinded you blinded i was blinded i ain't gonna lie um this message is a general message you know um no no terror has agenda to it it can be for men and female and female have masculine energy, and men, y'all have feminine energy. Pick your place, okay? Nothing wrong with it. Because I know I have a little bit of both, okay? So pick your place. You know, I've been blind. I've been to a sword, y'all. I really have. Okay? The next card is the tower. And it's caused me this. <laughs> it has definitely caused me this. Being blinded, not making the right choice, not uh, <laughs> has caused me two divorces, unhappiness, backstabbing, betrayal, lied, no loyalty, broke, confused, but God. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a lady of priority, nourishment love care but she cares about her money and i can truly say have you ever been hurt so bad all you can do is work <laughs> you know what i'm saying like all you can do is work to keep your mind off of either killing them or running back to them one of the two you pick which one you want to do. you know half of the time i was both i either wanted to kill them or run back to them so i buried myself in work and that's what the queen of pentacles is these swords, okay? These swords, man, the seven of swords. It's gotta be, you became the queen of pentacles. You became into your work. You became into your career. You became into your hobby and passion because there was some manipulation going on. Period. That's what the seven of swords was. He, he's carrying the swords because he's trying to cover up something, but he's leaving two swords. You know, even though we see the red signs, people, I'm sure y'all see the red signs, right? I, Man, this last time I seen all red signs. They come falling down, but I was still leaving those two swords of maybe he'll change. He'll change for me. He loves me. You know, the things we tell ourselves, you know what I'm saying? In reality, <laughs> you should have been looking at them red flags, you know what I'm saying? Instead of what he could do for you. You know, and I was in that zone to where I had to, <laughs> six of swords, I had to go backwards, I had to move to calmer waters, I had to say, you know what, you got that, you win, you quit, I quit, because two things going to happen, I'm going to either kill you or end up in jail, both of them is not going to be good, okay, if I kill you, then I'm going to have that on my conscience, if I end up in jail, I'm going to miss out on my family and friends. You know what I'm saying? And both of them ain't good. You know, have you ever been to in a position where you give a person two choices and neither choices are good? Like, so you got to move away to Carnival Waters. You got to go think about it. You got to reevaluate your situation. And moving from Carmel Waters on the 60th squad means moving yourself out of a situation where you got to go on vacation, go to a mom's house, a relative's house, or even a friend's house. You got to move. Because it's the two of pentacles. You're juggling the situation. Whether you're juggling your mental health, whether you're juggling your emotional health, 
whether you juggling your money, you know what I'm saying? Because it costs when you got to go get, live in a hotel and stuff like that. It costs, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it costs to get away from somebody. There's been times that I traveled to get away from somebody. And that's when the four swords, you need space and time to think because you juggled the situation. The four swords identify, you need that space, you need that time, you know? You do. You need that time. And that's what Jamie was going through last night. You know, she needed that space. He was overdoing it. Her husband was overdoing it, and she needed that space. He got snappy with her, and she had to say, time out, because she was only giving him two choices <laughs> at that point. You know what I'm saying? And neither choice was good, you know? The sun. There's that upper power, y'all. The sun. You are the light. You know what's right and wrong. You know, um, all those that have been in church, grew up in the church, or gained spirituality, or even if you really don't have, let's say, you're non, -non, -non denominational that's like a Christian, you believe in all faiths, you know what I'm saying? You still know what's right. You still know you are the star. You know that there's a power above you that's going to help you, which comes to the seven of pentacles so you work you sow your seeds um you begin to work on the interview now if you're watching my youtube and you watch me from the beginning in the middle to now you know i am putting in work i'm on my second journey it's been a year and a half since my um issue happened my trauma happened and I was awakened by spirit. It was it was a good thing that I was awakened because now I see, you know, I was blind and now I see what's so amazing grace. Okay, King of Pentacles. As you sow your seed, spirit's gonna send you a king. Okay, you are not meant to be on this earth alone. You're not. I'm sorry. That's why God made Adam, Eve, and the snake. Let's not forget about him, okay? When he made you, he made somebody. If you're open, only but let me tell you about it. If you're open, let me say that. Uh, you do have discernment and you do have free will. Some people are not open. It's okay. It's, I mean, I for a year and a half, I wasn't open. I had options, but I wasn't open to start a new relationship because I was too busy healing. I wasn't open to think outside or anybody's point of view because I wanted to get my point of view right. I wasn't open to receive love because I was learning how to just love me, period. And that's a job all by itself. Page of Pentacles. You're going to get an offer, somebody. You're going to get an offer. You continue to work on yourself. You continue to better yourself. You continue to hit home with yourself. Like, my biggest critic is me. I hit home hard. I'm a truth teller. I don't mind telling you I snoozed on a couple of people, and that's why I got what I got. I don't mind telling you I made the wrong decisions. That's, what I ha that's why it happened the way it happened. I don't mind telling you it was not me. It was him. It was the universe, God, stepping in for me because I am well protected. I don't mind telling you that because if it was up to me, I'd still be spiring. <laughs> okay? i still be a naysayer. i still be trying to people please. i still be allowing somebody to get over and play with my emotion. i still be in a third party which allowing a man or woman to cheat all over me. I would still be that person. You know what I'm saying? So, and I would still probably be doing drugs, getting high, running around, confused. Okay, period. But he'll send you a king of pentacles in your life. He, he will send you your soul partner. You know, just wait. Work on yourself and wait. Because you get the four ones. You get teamwork, make the teamwork. I honestly believe in that. A lot of people say, how can you believe in love after you've been done so bad? Love is the highest vibration, y'all. Y'all just don't know. As long as you have love, that's like, you can't break no other commandment if you're Christian. As long as you have love, 
in your heart. A person can tell you, let me tell you something, people can tell you they love you all the time. Have you ever seen a person that loves you all the time, but they do so much wrong when they get mad? I can love you and not do you wrong. I can't. Because I love you. I love you from here, not here. You feel me? I love you from here to here, not here. I actually genuinely love you. So, because love is the highest vibration, I want to stay in that vibration. You know, they crucify God for God's sake. So, what makes you think they're not going to do you? They backstab. Shit, Judith kissed them and, and, and denied them. So, what makes you think that they're not going to do the same to you? Who are you? No bigger than God. You know what I'm saying? So, there is somebody out there. I know you're probably saying, fuck that. I ain't with it. I believe it. And you might not be with it. But give it some time. Give it some time. Take your time. Continue to heal. Because you're going to have choices. But let me tell you about this court of choices. You see how choices, how many choices you got? You got the snake. You got the head. You got all this. These, All these people. It's going to come to you in all different forms. Weird. Have I seen them all? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Different ages. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's talk about the ages when it comes to me. I ain't taking no baby home the same age as my oldest daughter. My do oldest daughter is 27. You got to be at least a B32. If you under 32, you can hang it up. I mean, all different age, shapes, colors, genders. They, they come in for you, okay? Just know that because when you start healing yourself, you look different. You walk different. You talk different. You know, you're reading a book so you knowledgeable of things, you know, besides the streets. You know, you know who Ted McMillan is and you know who, you know, oh yeah, he's a book writer. <laughs> I've been reading books, you know what I'm saying? You know who a lot of things is because... You're doing things for yourself. You're doing some knowledge of things. You get back to school, right? But there's only one true proposal. The lovers. Now, notice with that, that's not that's not a cup. That's not a two of cups. That's love. <laughs> it's a difference. That's not an offer. That's love gotta know that's love man and it's out there for you and if you don't believe i believe you know what i'm saying i know it's been rough i know it's been rough spirit knows it's been rough god knows it's been rough but there's love out there right there's love out there there's love because you're gonna start a new cycle you're gonna start a new cycle you're gonna start a new cycle yeah you're gonna start a new cycle it's okay it's a new cycle right now leo and, of course, you're going to have a lot of spies and admirers with the page of wands. Even a couple of exes going to look back at you, you know. You're going to have that King of Wands, Aries. Man, I notice when I be listening to Aunt TT and TT Sarah and... But y'all Aries is, like, really doing us in, okay? Like, y'all are running through everybody like crazy it's it's weird not all y'all but you know the one aries fire signs leo sagittarius is everybody loves y'all but you know and i do too us cancers we really love y'all you know and y'all love us but you know it's kind of hard when you're a cusper of a leo you know you're gonna bump heads you know everybody can't be a leader and they may can if they can work together with the four swamps. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want no punk. I need a whole lot of amphora. Okay? <laughs> the moon. what I tell you? Why king of ones followed by the moon have to be added into it? Because they looking at you. <laughs> they, they see the change within you. They see the boundaries that are up. They see all that. They see all that. They see that now you're about your pinnacles. You're about your money. You know, and you're looking for this. So, of course, they all in their mental. You ain't said much. You're quiet as a church house mouse. I mean, what is there to say when you got what? Five of pinnacle at the bottom of the deck. What is there to say when you was left out in the cold? Ain't nothing too much to say, right? 
when they either ghost you, left you with no explanation, didn't explain anything, or they explained just enough and it was stupid like they're traditional, or I, I need some space, or I don't understand, and I need to, a little time to think about this. You know, those little lame excuses that, you know, people give, men and women give when they have other options, you know. Um, or when they looking at something else that, that maybe they can pounce on. You know what I'm saying? So, Spirit, let's get a, a sign from Spirit. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that you don't have to be manipulative and you don't have to be challenging to get your wish that's the ace of wands and a five of swords you don't have to act out to get your wish um fire plus fire don't equal peace fire plus fire equals a disaster and I had to learn that. You know, a lot of people say tit for tat. Tit for tat gets you hurt. Tit for tat gets making things worse. But walking away, getting your life together, and giving out peace and love feels much better at the end of the day. Now, granted, you're going to be hurt. You're going to go through the motions. But you will get a nine of cups. And that nine of cups is... Basically, acceptance within yourself. It's gratitude within yourself. It's not, it's an emotional effect that you know that it's a job well done. You worked on yourself, spirits say. You you know what I'm saying? When you get that nine of, nine of cups, you one cup away from a ten of cups. You, you accomplished that. You know what I'm saying? You accomplished that, you know? You don't have to be manipulative. You don't have to be backstabbing. You don't have to do any of that to get your wish. You know what I'm saying? You can get, you can make your accomplishment by being right to yourself, loving yourself, giving, educating yourself, finding you something better to do, minding your own business, staying in your own lane, manifesting what you do want because you've been getting what you don't want because you let, you snoozed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I've snoozed, y'all. I've, I've snoozed five different different people that I knew that was way suitable for what I was picking out. You know what I'm saying? God knew it. But, I mean, I snoozed. And I lost to big time. And the last card from Spirit. Okay, Spirit wanted two more cards. Intuition. Listen to your intuition. Once you got your nine of cups and you learn your lesson, listen listen to your higher self. You And, and I'm going to tell you, you're not going to be your higher self every day. Okay? But she's in there. Once you heal that inner child and you balance it with the cherry and you go on about your business and you work. Notice with the cherry, you got the light in the dark. You work on that shadow side and you equal out that 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 love and you care because a lot of people take advantage of that too like i said a bunch of people take care you know they took advantage of that and get that together and you get your masculine and feminine and you get the balancing because it takes a lot to drive this cherry you have to be balanced on both you know what i'm saying and you start to get in your own driver's seat and drive the way you want to and drive what you want and live where you want to live that's a good feeling, you know what I'm saying? You you doing your you making your own calls, your own plays. You know what I'm saying? The wheel will change. That wheel gonna spin around. That devil is gonna get beneath that. Get beneath me. Get beneath me. And you become that queen of wands. That includes for bottom of the deck, the queen of wands. You know what I'm saying? You become that queen. You become to know. Your rights, stand up for your rights. You see, she don't look like she playing anything. She don't even want to play. You intimidate a lot of them devilish people because you're they no longer have anything in common with you. That includes family, friends as well. You're going to leave them behind. Like, like I was telling you, you know, I got a good friend, but I wanted a friend to have kids. Something, somebody I can relate to. Somewhere we can play date, you know, because that was the first thing she said. Well, maybe you can call me and we can do a play date. 
hey, I like Tristan loves play dates. You know what I'm saying? I'm always with him. And, you know, it gets my mind out to want to go to clubs. I'm not a club person. But my single friend, she likes clubs to each his own. But I'm not a club person. I wouldn't find my true love in a club. I'll find a fling in a club, but I wouldn't find true love. But, hey, we open them flings, right? Because we've changed. We ain't blind, okay? We see the light, Caroline. Because we've had enough of what? We have enough of these towers. We, we done with that, okay? <laughs> we ain't snoozing to lose no more. So don't snooze to lose, right? Right. Bye.